for hole nine, you're going to use either an APOC, no matter what level you have it in, or a rock. Um, I prefer the APOC six just because I have it. But um, if I didn't have an APOC five or six, I would or four, I would probably go with the rock. You're going to use three bars of a left spin with three to four bars of top spin. Your second bounce is going to line up with the start of the leaves off there to the right hand side. So I'm just judging to see if that second bounce is even with those leaves. And then I'm going to adjust my shot at max distance of my club with a 0% elevation. Depending on the wind angle, it depends on your curl. So if you have a left to right wind, I would do full curl. And if you have a right to left wind, I would back off your curl. So again, sometimes you will clip that rough, sometimes you won't. So here I didn't clip the rough and I made it far enough up to have a decent shot at the rough bump on my second shot. So here I'm playing with a minus 5% elevation and then I'm going to spin my ball to the hole and I'm just going to offset it um, just a little bit left of the hole since it's a wind pushing left to right. Um, your spin is going to vary here. Um, basically, there is no set spin. There is no set spin sets on this hole on the rough bump of this hole. But I do play it at a minus five percent elevation at max distance of my sniper. So again, for the drive, you're gonna do three bars of less spin with three to four bars of top spin, depending on how you would like to play this. Your second bounce is gonna be even with the leaves off there to the right-hand side, just as they start, and your ball guide's gonna be just inside the uh, rough on the fairway. You will then adjust your shot at 0% elevation at maximum distance of your club. And then with a left to right uh, wind, you would do full curl and a right to left wind like here, you are going to back off your curl. Since my ball clipped the rough, it put me at a shorter distance, so I will have to do a bounce over shot. So here, we're gonna do about one to one and a half bars of top spin. You don't wanna do too much because it will, um, have a speed roll uh, in a sense when it bounces over so you need to be careful with that top spin so here i'm just trying to judge where i think the ball is going to go it's really hard with a glitchy ball guide with the bounce over shot so just try and get it onto the green i do play this at one to one or one win per ring or basically zero percent max distance of your club And one last time, you're gonna either use an APOC or a rock for your drive. You're gonna do three bars of left spin with three to four bars of top spin, depending on the wind. You will then aim your shot to where the second bounce is gonna be even with the start of the leaves off there to the right and your ball guide just inside on the fairway. You will then adjust your shot at max distance of your club with a 0% elevation. With a left to right wind, you are going to use full curl and with a right to left win, you are going to back off that curl. For the second shot, you are going to use a minus 5% elevation if you are doing the rough bump. If you are doing the bounce over, just do a 0% elevation at max distance. So here again, I did, I used too much top spin here, and so it kicked my ball further than I expected it. So you do wanna leave it short of the hole in a tailwind. So yeah, I did a, a way too much top spin here. But try and um, line up your ball guide just to the hole and to the left of the hole if it's a tailwind, and if it's a headwind, 
you will have to try and um, have it going past the hole. So again, I use minus 5% on this elevation at max distance. Just be wary of your top spin because I did uh, way too much top spin for a tailwind. So again, guys, try to hit perfect. Good luck and happy golfing.